Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a while, but here I am back with another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you an easy way on how I do my 3D clothes in Zepetto using Blender. So yeah, let's begin. Before we begin doing our clothes in Blender, first you must have to open your Zepetto Studio account on Chrome and go to guides and download some stuff you need to make one. Before we begin creating our clothes, of course you will be needing to download some stuff that Zepetto provided for us in Zepetto Studio. Here are the important things that you need to download. First is the Unity. Second is the Zepetto Studio Unity Project Files folder. And the last one is the Creator Base Set. You could also download free FBX files from Zepetto Studio like t-shirts, jumpers, skirts, pants, and shoes but for now we will be focusing on using the skirt to like just give you an idea on how to create your own 3D clothes. Now let's jump into Blender. Here I am just importing the skirt FBX that I got from Zepetto Studio. By doing that, I clicked file then import and fbx and this thing will pop out and just find your fbx files from your file folders after doing that this avatar will appear next step is to sculpt the skirt because as you can see the skirt doesn't look very decent it's boring and needs some retouch so i think sculpt is the best way to fix it by the way this is the sculpt i am using after sculpting the waistline to show more, this is now the new outcome. The left one is the before and the right one is the after. It definitely looked better but I think I need to cut out some parts to make it more shorter and cuter. To cut out parts, click the object you want to cut, then press the tab key on your keyboard to quickly go to edit mode. Then enable toggle x-ray mode and you're ready to go. To delete pieces or vertices, simply highlight them. And after that part has been highlighted, click the right mouse button and find the delete vertices. Now that we have finished cutting it, let's go back to sculpting mode and make the skirt more curvy. If you're happy with the way your skirt looks like, you may skip this part. Finally, we are done with the bottom pair and can move on to creating our top pair. Here I am just selecting my base and trying to make a top out of it by selecting parts that will serve as our top. By the way, the keys that I use to select sections faster like this are the Alt key plus the Shift key together. And now that I'm satisfied with it, I hit right click and separate selections. I went back to sculpting mode to add a chest and make it look more feminine. The next step is to join the two objects by clicking the top, holding down the shift key and selecting the bottom. Then press the right mouse click to join. The next process is going to be the vertex paint to remove the black stuff that causes the base to disappear. This step isn't actually necessary for this one because I will be replacing the base later on but just to give you a little idea on how it works, I will demonstrate. Now that we are done removing the overlying black paint, I went back to object mode and selected the object that we had created and proceeded to UV editing mode. 
to be honest with you guys i always skip this step because it is really time consuming but if you want details on your clothing i recommend doing so so what i am doing here is highlighting the top and trying to fit it in the square and after that i will be doing the skirt next using the same process try fitting the top and the bottom into a single square however i think it really depends if combining them in a single frame doesn't work try splitting them using the same method i just showed the tools to use are in the left corner the names are very self-explanatory so try exploring and figuring it out for yourself Then select your clothing pair and export the UV template by clicking UV and then export UV layout at the bottom, then save to your files. Switching back to object mode, we will remove the base and replace it with the creator base set by importing it. Then all you have to do is select the base and its outfit. Export it to your files and we are ready to add designs and convert it in Unity. Now open Unity and drag the FBX file that we exported from Blender into this section. As you may have seen if you have already downloaded Unity, we have different versions. However, if that is the case, I will provide a link to the same version I am using so you may follow along with me. Moving on. So, the first step is to press the play button, otherwise nothing will happen. Then, convert your FBX file into a Zepeto style format or what we basically call prefab. Next is to click the loader and drag your prefab next to where it says clothes stress, which must have a check mark. Following that, we are ready to color or design our clothes. First thing I'm doing here is changing the color. Or if you want, you can always add an image design in a PNG file format with a size of 512 by 512. In order to add image textures, your shader must be in width slash standard format. And now you can add the signs by clicking this box. Then convert your prefab to a Zepeto style format one more time and export as a .Zepeto file. Let's go back to Zepeto Studio and drag our file into this box to submit it. Just wait for it to load and you're set. It is like a normal way of submitting an item like with 2D where it asks for its name, its category, and the price. And that's basically how you make your own 3D clothes. But if you have any questions or clarifications, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye!